Welcome back to the channel. Now I'm just out in the garage. I've been uh, looking for uh, the parts for the, my son's uh, 2000 model Celica. As you see here, I have some parts. And I have more parts. And I even have more parts. Yeah, one spring. I have mounted one spring on uh, that side. That I'm going to change on the other side too. New shock absorbers for both sides, of course. Want to see more paper work here? A lot of paper work too. Yeah. Spring, shock absorbers, overdose shock absorbers, and yeah, let's see, here, yeah. it's a new bearing on the top, for that side, I have one for the other side. Here is for the, what do you call it in English? Stabilization system. Stabilization road. It's for the front. Here is for the back. On both side, I have on the other side. Here, end truck uh, and the steering. Here again, I just have to see. In road, isn't what you call it in English? The end part for the steering. A new back rotors, new front rotors, new calipers from the back. Handbrake, brake pads. Here we have more heh, making this more for the suspension that I was just finding it for a very good price. More for the handbrake. Yeah, I just have to see because here I think it's the cylinder for the back brake. The brake cylinder for the back. <coughs> if I need to change it. If it's not looking nice, I just change it because I bought I bought a complete set of for both sides there, and here also was some more for that. Was it a mounting? Yeah, it's a mounting kit. Here is for a back brake. Supposed to be a complete kit for both sides. I'm not sure why one is green and the other is orange. But I have that. So then I should have a lot of parts to start up the work. I also have a OC sensor clean checking the air. But then I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the front of the car. So I just have to get it get it up and ramps. Take all the front. Start with taking off everything, changing the shock absorber. And the spring on the top, and then changing those. Those I think is the one going backwards, if I don't remember wrong. So I have to check. Because on this car it was making some knocking noise that I think was coming from. I think it's this one who have been ruined. But I was thinking maybe ending if it's not nice, 
the end rods, the steering, I'm just changing them. The back brakes, it was not good at all, it was very bad. So then the plan is to change those. No, I have to check one thing. Uh, see the picture here. No. The picture was uh, showing calipers with handbrake in the caliper system. This is not the internal handbrake. So it's the right side. So then that is going to be okay. So I hope uh, your people, boys and girls, come back and see more videos of when I start working more on this car. Soon I have to start. I'm just taking it in now and seeing this part. I think I was changing the brake pads in the front and maybe also in the back before. I have to check my old videos just to see. I think I was changing the brake pads in the back. But uh, then the brake calipers in the back was very poor. So I just had problem making that move as it should. So I just changing them. All these parts. I was getting from the States, in the USA, the most of it, those I bought in Norway, the rest was coming from the States, from Rock Auto, Rock Auto in the States, from different uh, shops there. So that's good, the shock absorbers I get in Norway, the springs I get in Norway, from different shops. One called screw out and one deal the leg. So it's come from different places. So I hope you would like to see more about this car and the work on it and if you have some things I should be looking out for and uh, things you would like to know more about this car or some of my other Celicas or my Land Cruiser or some of the other cars. Just leave a comment. Leave a like if you would like to see more about this car and you think it's okay for me to put up this video about telling you what is going to happen the, during the winter. I'm not sure if I'm going to do everything right away after each other or if I need to move this car out to take in one or two other cars in between. I have a friend who should have helped him change timing belt on uh, old Toyota Camry. We have some other cars and hopefully I'm getting a bigger place that I was supposed to be able to rent cheap that I can get in two or three cars but I get some problems so I just have to wait and see but please come back please subscribe to the channel and please like my videos and put uh, some comments questions comments about what I'm doing right or wrong everything is welcome thank you